The words drug development may conjure images of white-coated scientists working at benches with pipettes and petri dishes. Although this is true for many medications, certain medications actually come from animals. So how have animals helped us in curing diseases? Welcome to Give a Fact, and you are watching top animals that can help us cure diseases. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe for more great content or tell us what you want to learn more about in the comment section below. Now let's get straight to the video, shall we? 1. Pigs and Cows Diabetes is a chronic health condition that affects how your body turns food into energy. This is when your body doesn't make enough insulin or can't use it as well as it should, leaving too much sugar in your bloodstream instead of turning it into energy. Over time, that can cause serious health problems such as heart disease, vision loss, and kidney disease. Animal insulin was the first type of insulin to be administered to humans to control diabetes found in 1922 in Canada and was used as a treatment for diabetes until the 1980s. Animal insulin is taken from the pancreas of animals, usually pigs and cows, making the product insulin called porcine or bovine insulin respectively. To reduce the chance of the insulin user developing a reaction to the animal insulin, it was purified carefully. While the actions of animal insulin are effective, its peak activity period is short, only up to 3 to 4 hours after injection. This makes the timing of meals in relation to injections more difficult with humans, and particularly analog insulins. These days, the use of animal insulin has largely been replaced by human insulin and human analog insulin. However, animal insulin is still available on prescription. In addition to that, pigs are also used to produce heparin or enoxaparin anticoagulant, a blood thinner drug to treat and prevent blood clots. Pancrelipase, a type of enzyme used to treat pancreatic insufficiency, was also derived from pigs. 2. Chicken For decades, the most common influenza vaccines have been made by growing the flu virus in chicken eggs and inactivating or weakening it so it can't cause disease. In fact, more than a billion safe and effective egg-based flu vaccine doses are made annually worldwide, making it the most common way to manufacture flu vaccines for more than 70 years. Egg-based vaccine manufacturing is used to make both inactivated vaccine, usually called the flu shot, and live attenuated vaccine, usually called the nasal spray flu vaccine. This production method requires large amounts of chicken eggs to produce vaccines and may take longer than other production methods. Not only vaccines, but chicken eggs are also used in producing propofol, an anesthetic to help patients relax or sleep during surgery or other medical procedures. 3. Chimpanzees As humans have evolved, our genetic makeup has changed, putting us at increased risk of clogged arteries. When you combine this with our increased intake of red meat and other foods that raise our odds of getting heart disease, we really are cooking up a perfect storm. Recent research shows that it was the loss of a specific gene that increased our risk of cardiovascular disease compared with other animals, including our closest cousin, the chimpanzee. This study also showed that genetically altering mice to have the same genetic mutation as humans resulted in a twofold increased risk of heart attack compared with normal mice. In the future, we might use genetic engineering to reduce our risk of heart disease. 4. Naked Mole Rats The naked mole rat may be hard on the eye, but this burrowing rodent is of great interest to scientists because it doesn't get cancer. Naked mole rats could also teach us something about longevity. Given their size, they should live a similar length of time as the relative, the dormouse, about 4 years yet they often live seven times longer. These ugly rodents are slowly giving up their secrets to scientists and one day might help us develop new therapies to beat cancer and age-related diseases. 5. Spider Though it is the second leading cause of death worldwide, killing 6 million a year and leaving a further 5 million with permanent disabilities, we have no treatments that can heal or prevent brain damage following this loss of blood flow to the brain. The venom of a funnel-web spider found only on Queensland's Kigari or Fraser Island could be key to preventing irreparable damage caused by heart attacks and stroke, 
new research at the University of Queensland has found. By preventing organ damage after a heart attack and stroke caused by blockages that prevent blood flow to the heart and brain, this world's deadliest spider-containing drugs can be used to save millions of people every year. While human trials are expected to begin about the end of 2023, researchers hope the drug will be made available to first responders in the future. 6. Kangaroos Osteoarthritis has many causes, but obesity, poor posture, and poor joint alignment are key risks. Many primates and carnivores have similar joint problems to humans, with great apes showing some of the highest prevalence of joint disease. Kangaroos, on the other hand, can bounce along at speeds of 40 miles per hour with little risk of arthritis until well into old age. A unique cartilage structure in their knees enables them to withstand the forces of repeated bending and the impact of landing. The arrangement of ligaments also improves the stability of the joint, which is important for maintaining good joint health. Research like this could help improve the materials used for artificial knee implants in humans. 7. Scorpion Currently in clinical trials in the US and likely to be approved by the FDA within two years is tozuluristide, BLZ100, a kind of tumor paint derived from scorpion venom. Initially developed at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle and described in the journal Cancer Research in 2007, this drug selectively binds to brain tumor cells, but not healthy ones. This allows brain surgeons to easily see cancerous tissue during surgery. So, what is this chemical from the scorpion venom? It's chlorotoxin CY5.5, derived from the venom of the ferociously named death stalker scorpion, Leurus quinquestriatus. Research teams are working ways to use tozuluristide to label other forms of cancer, including breast and spine cancer. Meanwhile, some researchers are looking at animal-derived compounds that can kill cancer not just tag it. Research at the QIMR Berghofer Medical Research Institute in Australia discovered that the peptide gomicin, derived from the venom of the Brazilian tarantula, can kill skin cancer cells. Inspired by this, they also found that venom of the Australian funnel web spider can kill cancerous skin cells, but not healthy ones. A spider may only produce 10 milliliters of venom in a day, a scorpion just 2 milliliters, and a pseudoscorpion perhaps less than 5 nanoliters a day. But with the data from new databases, researchers can chemically synthesize molecules with specific properties in sufficient amounts. 8. Cave Fish Diabetes is a global health problem and is a major cause of blindness, kidney failure, heart attacks, stroke, and amputation. Nearly 1 in 10 adults has the disease and rates of diabetes are on an upward trajectory. The solution to this disease, if there is one, may come from Mexican blind cavefish. These little fish gorge on algae and can binge without coming to any harm as they are uniquely adapted to survive without regulating their blood sugar. This means that the symptoms normally seen in diabetic humans who have wildly varying blood glucose levels don't seem to be a problem for these fish. Scientists hope that by understanding more about these fish, we might one day find a better treatment for this disease. And that is a wrap. What did you learn from this video? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope that our educational videos will help spread the knowledge so everyone can protect our world and biodiversity together. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our videos useful and want us to make more videos. Until next time, give a fact.